Bam. Samsung. CL7 Studio Condenser Microphone. Um, the main problem with this microphone is uh, that it is very, very quiet and the volume cuts out here and then and uh, everything like like if you if you touch it a bit or bump it a bit or even uh, jiggle the cable a bit uh, it cuts out and it's uh, uh, very unpredictable and the volume is quiet and everything is uh, everything is pretty bad with this microphone so um, actually I, I already fixed it but uh, I want to show you what I did uh, exactly to fix this microphone because uh, it's uh it might be a common no it's it's not a common mistake but it might be something similar to other microphones i've seen uh a youtube video that also has a um a condenser microphone not a samsung one but a different one uh but uh, in there uh the microphone also had the very very low volume and it's it, it had a pretty pretty similar problem to this so i'll explain it later so to open it over here on the back there's a little little nub little silver plastic nub that was stuck in there like that and you, you had to pry it out with the screwdriver uh, i used the flathead one to get it out but uh yeah it was pretty hard so you have to get it out then you take your trusty screwdriver and you unscrew it. There's a pretty, pretty long screw, but I'll make quick work of that. So, so it's still in there. So it's yeah, it's very, very long. So it's about out. Yeah, see, I have the screw. So, and it comes out like this, like both of these parts just come off like that. So you're going to go come here, and over here we have the very interesting circuit. I'm going to zoom in for you. So. We have a special circuit in here, even there's a transformer over there, it's pretty funny. So, uh, the whole board consists of uh, two, two boards, and they're interconnected uh, with the jumper cable, with the jumper connection. Um, the other video that I looked for uh, in YouTube, I also was trying to uh, look... Uh, uh, maybe some people had a similar problem or something like that, and I could find only one video uh that was uh explaining what could have happened in inside here so I, I checked everything it was not the cable it was not the phantom power amplifier it was uh, nothing and the problems were somewhere inside here so i had to open it so um when opening it uh, you have to look at the chips itself you have to see if there's any corrosion uh, on the other video, actually going to link that video in uh, the description, so you can go to go to that uh, YouTuber and see what he did. Uh, but for him, uh, everything over here, all the micro micro chips and uh, the components were corroded, and some resistors even were not uh, soldered on correctly. So that was a problem for him. But for me, the problem was a little bit more simple, more more hidden, actually, I could say. So. Um, there are four screws connected, connected uh, that uh, screw in to the board itself and held, holds it to the chassis itself. So you have to open. I already have taken two screws out, so you have to screw them off. And uh, my problem uh, was that I actually took my multimeter. So I took my multimeter and I started went on the uh, the recreation mode so it beeps when they touch each other so i was going all around the board and i had just the idea to test the uh, jumper connections themselves so i was going like this through one connection to another to another to another and testing all the jumper cables and on the first one now from the second one from the top there was no connection at all so over here it now beeps very nicely but there was no connection I, and I, I started uh, pushing it a little bit and looking around it and uh, I found out that there is very bad connection and actually there shouldn't be any bad connections with uh, the jumper cable uh, but uh, but uh, for some reason in this one there was so uh, I took off the screws 
I'm going to take off these ones as well, like this. And then I separated the two parts, so let's zoom in. So, separated the two parts, be careful. And I took a look at these connectors, and I found out that they were very corroded. There was uh, some kind of a layer, a uh, multicolor layer. It was, um, it was corroded. It might be because of air or something, or the moisture that was there, uh, but it, it was pretty corroded. And actually, it, actually, it shouldn't be, because it is like uh, connected and there is no air that could get in. But I will link some pictures, I will show some pictures right now, uh, to show uh, how the connectors looked. And then what I did, I took some sandpaper, uh, now actually, I first took some isopropyl alcohol and cleaned them with a the Q-tip. Uh, but that didn't seem to do anything, so uh, the corrosion was very big. So actually, I took my multimeter and tested between the point between the jumper cables where have they been soldered, and they and I found out that the surface of it it was it had no connection at all. So I took some sandpaper, sanded them off, and uh, sanded them all around, 360 degrees around. And then I took some isopropyl, cleaned them, and also I poured some isopropyl, I sprayed, I have a spray bottle over here, right this, I have a spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol. So I sprayed them, them in there and did some, I pushed them in, out and in, out, in and in, out like that. And just to so rub off the corrosion or the surface layer that was on there. So then... Uh, I put everything together and I, I took a great look at the uh, insides of if, if there was any shorts or anything like that and uh, I couldn't find anything, it was in pristine condition, but only corroded parts were these, so uh, put everything back together and I can just, just do like this, I don't even need to screw it back together, so, no, actually I wouldn't, so let's go zoom out. Let's put in the big screw, and for you to test that it works. Uh, bef and before I did anything, it was not working at all, and there was no sound. So let's take these screws and put them away. So let me get my phantom power. Over here we have my phantom power setup. It's a little, little thing I got from China. It has no markings on it, but uh, there's a battery inside, and it provides 40... 47 volts, 48, I don't know, and I don't know, it's pretty good, it worked for me. So, um, over here we have my recorder, actually let's turn it on, and let's plug in the microphone port over here, yeah, that's microphone, and over here let's plug in also the microphone, so it's plugged in, um, yeah, the dials are on neutral, and let's turn on the on the phantom power so uh, let's do a recording so hello hello test one two three one two three uh is this microphone finally working uh we did some uh, a little bit of repair and uh, it should be working fine and the volume should be also pretty good and yeah because uh before everything the volume was you couldn't hear anything you had to boost it like 30 decibels and anything like that there was nothing so um i think that there was a problem with the phantom power between the, the jumper connections that there was no power and there was nothing at all so, okay so this is what was test one two three one two three and let's finish so we have the test and let's get the speaker for you Let's connect it in the on the audio jack. So let's play it. So hello, test one two three one two three. Uh, is this microphone finally working? Uh, we did some uh, a little bit of repair, and uh, it should be working fine. And the volume should be also pretty good. And yeah, because uh, before everything, the volume was you couldn't hear anything. You had to boost it like thirty decibels, and, it, and that there was nothing. So, um, I think that there was a problem with the phantom power between the, the jumper connections, that there was no power, and there was nothing at all. So, okay, so this is what was test. One, two, three, one, two, three, and let's finish. All right, so that was the test. Uh, again, with the condenser microphones, they are pretty quiet indeed, but uh, 
before that you couldn't even hear anything and uh, and yeah, then there might be some other problems with the components but uh, for me and may, may, maybe for you uh, it might be because of the corrosion and everything like that and I will link the other video go to that see everything but I saw very little videos of trying to fix these condenser microphones or even opening them so um, yeah take good care and uh, I hope you learned something and just test out some things and see if it works so it worked for me and uh, yeah see you again next time goodbye